Hello and welcome. My name is John Gross. I'm the bone and soft tissue pathologist at the Johns Hopkins University. Here we have case number 14, which is of a child complaining of knee pain. Plain film radiographs show a uh, aggressive appearing radio density in the metaphysis in the uh, distal femur. Uh, shown here with this uh, very white radio density, both uh, intramedullary as well as breaking through the cortex and lifting the periosteum here as a so-called Codman's triangle. This is a very aggressive pattern and uh, concerning for a osteosarcoma. Again, you can see how this is a young patient with an open growth plate. This is a AP view, and on the lateral view, you can see that uh, this is a nice um, Codman triangle here with this, uh, this line here of the periosteum being lifted, the matrix mineralization, radio density underneath it, um, and the, the very white um, uh, radio density seen centrally, intramedullary in this um, aggressive, uh, uh, tumor uh, in this child. A coronal biopsy uh, was obtained and the radiographs are very highly suspicious for a uh, osteosarcoma. Uh, the radiograph uh, led to this coronal biopsy, which at low power is uh, seen here. And I wanna draw your attention to the far right with this uh, matrix mineralization with this purple uh, matrix pattern uh, seen here. Um, centrally and at intermediate power, we have a pleomorphic sarcoma with large hyperchromatic cells. And um, at a higher power on that area that I had just mentioned on the far right, uh, there is wispy lace-like um, abnormal matrix mineralization uh, which uh, confirms the diagnosis of an osteoblastic osteosarcoma, which fit really well with the radiographic features. There are many different osteosarcoma variants. Osteoblastic um, osteosarcoma is a type of conventional osteosarcoma. And I want to briefly discuss the osteosarcoma variants with you today. So as we just saw, conventional osteosarcoma, osteoblastic type is one of the most common osteosarcoma variants. Here on the left is a example of this subtype with these malignant cells directly producing mineralized osteoid matrix, which is this pink and purple material here that the sarcoma cells uh, produce directly. And on the right, we have a anaplastic sarcoma uh, which is again is directly producing this mineralized osteoid matrix, which is our definition for a osteosarcoma. You'll see there's no osteoblastic rimming in this uh, tissue. Here is a collage of um, uh, osteosarcoma subtypes. The top left with a uh, relatively bland, variably pleomorphic spindle cell sarcoma associated with uh, more well formed bone. This is an example of fibroblastic osteosarcoma. The top right is uh, an example of telangiectatic osteosarcoma with blood-filled cystic spaces and variably cellular uh, and pleomorphic spindle cell sarcoma with uh, large uh, areas with fibrous septae. Uh, the amount of osteoid in telangiectatic osteosarcoma may be quite focal. Radiographic correlation is often needed in the telangiectatic osteosarcoma subtype. The bottom left is an example of chondroblastic osteosarcoma with a focus of uh, atypical hyaline cartilage with matrix mineralization surrounded by fibroblastic um, spindle cell sarcoma. And uh, the bottom right is an example of a uh, giant cell rich osteosarcoma subtype with um, mitotically active malignant cells producing mineralized osteoid matrix, as well as abundant osteoclast-like giant cells with uh, numerous nuclei. 
Uh, very rare subtype, small cell osteosarcoma seen here on the left um, at an intermediate to low power view of these uh, very primitive cells in this filigree pattern of lace-like osteoid, which on the right you can see is mineralized osteoid matrix with the, uh, the pink and purple um, calcification pattern. And the cells are, are primitive, but variably um, polymorphic or variable cytologic atypia is identified. And uh, finally, one of the most rare variants is chondroblastoma-like osteosarcoma. So on the left is a uh, epithelioid tumor, which is quite pink, as well as um, abundant purple mineralization um, at low power. And on the right, we can see that this tumor, while it does um, resemble chondroblastoma, which even includes nuclear grooves and reniform nuclei, this tumor um, is mitotically active, is aggressive radi radiographically and clinically, um, and does have matrix mineralization with this purple uh, matrix mineralization pattern over seen here on, on the far right. Um, osteosarcoma is the most common non-hematopoietic primary bone tumor with a bimodal distribution in patients younger than age 20 and greater than 60 years of age. It often occurs in the metaphysis of long bones around the knee, but can affect any bone. Radiographically, uh, osteosarcomas are generally ill-defined with mixed lytic and blastic features. Uh, you'll often see a Codman's triangle, like we saw in our patient here, where the periosteum is lifted uh, by the advancing tumor. Osteosarcomas generally grow rapidly which is in contrast to conventional chondrosarcomas, which are more indolent, slow-growing tumors. Osteosarcoma is defined by the production of malignant osteoid, which is often lace-like and it lacks osteoblastic rimming. Osteosarcomas grow in an invasive and permeative pattern. Uh, osteosarcomas um, in general are um, treated with preoperative or neoadjuvant chemotherapy. There's a couple subtypes, which we'll discuss in other videos, uh, are not subject to neoadjuvant chemotherapy, but by and large, osteosarcoma is a tumor that undergoes neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Lung is the most common site of metastatic disease. The prognosis of osteosarcoma is variable. Um, 50 to 80% survival is um, often seen in most patients with conventional osteosarcoma. Those who have low-grade osteosarcoma subtypes will have slightly better prognoses uh, with greater than 90% survival. And this is not our patient, but you can imagine uh, what this tumor would look like after neoadjuvant treatment and resection. Uh, on the left is an example of the Codman's triangle here, a section that I had taken from a, a bone tumor that I had seen a couple of years ago. And he, we can see this, um, uh, the Codman's triangle, which is the periosteum that is lifted. And um, it's beautiful on the outside here. And then this um, uh, dead tumor uh, underneath. Um, and uh, similarly, and here's an, another example of a Codman's triangle. If you trace it um, up towards the top, it's the periosteum that gets lifted. And then uh, there is reactive bone formation. But underneath is a advancing osteosarcoma. Um, seen here. This is classic um, conventional osteoblastic osteosarcoma. Thanks for listening.